hello guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for being here and ultimately thank you so much for gracing your presence here on my channel i truly appreciate you stopping by and choosing me to be your entertainment for today let's get into it all right so first off we gotta check out the glam okay your girl's looking real nice real fine today okay on my usual pimping type ish anyway okay so manifestation all you need to know about manifestation is just a short synopsis basically manifestation one part of it um is how to or, or how to do it would be visualization using your imagination i believe that's a very big part of manifestation because believe seeing well hold on <laughs> let me make sure i get it right <laughs> believing is seeing and sometimes you know people like to do it the opposite way but um, the things that you see may not be tangible at that moment so you have to believe that it will happen for you and it will come to you by um, vibrational matter right so manifestation is all about using your affirmation using your visualization visualization in vibration when you are vibrating you're vibrating on different frequencies um so you, when you get into that you you're basically using the law of attraction so you can use the law of attraction by visualization by fire breathing by um positive affirmations by scripting so i'm just going to name a few things that can help with your visualization or excuse me help with your manifestation one would be visualization okay and how you visualize some people are dreamers which means they dream about it before they actually see it happen they dream about it before they actually believe it can happen or they just dream about it by working through their dreams whatever they want to manifest okay but how do you get to that stage of actually dreaming about it how do you get that get to that stage of visualizing what it is that you want whether it's a new relationship you want to attract love or a new business you want to attract money you want to attract clients you want to attract customers what do you need to do using your imagination can sometimes be tricky because especially when you're sitting down in one space your mind can go to different places but my key point is let it let it go to as many places as it can be but then once you find a center or you find what those thoughts are surrounding on you can vibrate on them how i like to vibrate on my thoughts or my imagination is um, meditating sitting down in, a, in one seated position or even laying down or even taking a shower or a hot bath or a spiritual bath um, a garden bath um, however you want to call it even going for a walk and listening to music can help with your imagination can help with your visualization and vibrating on higher frequencies so um, when you do visualize things it, it does help to as well have a concrete concept of what it is that you want so if I want to have a million dollars well I'm gonna visualize a million dollars on my bed um, me rolling in it, me playing in it, me spending it or investing it, however I so shall see fit. So you want to make it seem as a story when you're meditating and you're visualizing these things that you want to manifest. You want to um, visualize it as if you're telling a story and painting a story in vivid uh, imagery. So you want to be very descriptive as possible. You know, how does the money feel? What clothes are you wearing? Um, how do you feel when you receive a million dollars or even five hundred dollars? Whatever type of money that you want to come to you, how do you feel? Um, what is that moment like for you? How are you basking in that presence? So that's when it comes to visualization. You want to make sure you're very detailed as possible because the more you dream about it or visualize about it, the more you're able to see it in your dreams, the more you're able to see it unfold in your reality. And it can also unfold in your mind play by play. And the more you start to play with these imageries, uh, images um, 
and these concepts the universe is saying okay this is repetition this is a constant thing so immediately I have to give her what she is being consistent with right so if I'm being consistent with um, or I'm repeating uh, different imageries in my head about money well that immediately is going to attract to me because that's what I'm vibrating on that's what my frequency is sur surrounding up um, around the next step is scripting um, scripting is very useful very helpful but not a lot of people like to write down their thoughts not a lot of people like to visualize with uh, and write at the same time but it does help because you know like when you've written in your diary from seven years old till maybe 13 and then you know some of those things you written about came true whether you wanted to be perfect whether you wanted to be beautiful whether you wanted a million dollars whether you wanted to grow closer with your mom or whether you uh, wanted a father figure in your life those type of things that you written about when you were seven years old see how they manifested to when you were older um, did they come true were they exactly how you imagined it um, but it's the more descriptive you are and detailed you are with your scripting, the more likely the chance you have of it actually manifesting or quote unquote coming true. So if I'm scripting about finding love, well, um, I want to write about what I like in this guy or girl, depending on your preference. What, what do I see myself um, with them as? Um, do I see myself loving them? Do I see myself laughing with them? Do I see myself taking trips with them? Do I see myself marrying them? Um, what do I like? What kind of qualities do I like in a guy or a girl? Um, what type of figure do I want him to be making, him or her? Or what, um, how do I want this person to treat me? You know, what, what, am, what am I going to gain from being with this person? It's just like praying. Scripting is, you know, another form of prayer. Except you're writing it down instead of speaking it out loud. But that goes into my next segment of speaking things out loud can come in positive affirmations. Having positive affirmations allow you to believe it, have faith in what you're saying. Um, you know the saying like fake it till you make it? I just like if you're saying I'm beautiful but you believe that you're ugly right but you're saying in the mirror I'm beautiful I'm beautiful every single day it, it all of a sudden one day you wake up and you're like oh my gosh I never noticed this about myself I am so beautiful look at my nose look at my full lips look at my bright eyes look at my curly kinky hair these are the things you start to notice about yourself the more you repeat positivity onto yourself. When you're speaking life onto yourself, life comes and attracts back to you. So the universe is a yes man. The universe is always answering in yes form. So if you're saying all the time, I'm ugly, I'm poor, I'm uh, discrimination towards my family, I'll never find a job. It, uh, the universe is saying yes all of those things are true because you're speaking you're spelling out um, those words in unified form to where all of a sudden you're attracting those things you're believing it okay but when you have faith and positivity and being optimistic and having positive affirmations that's what that's where your belief leads you to positivity attracting everything that you believe in in a positive form so whether it's scripting whether it's dreaming whether it's speaking life onto things in your life when they are done in a positive form you're able to attract more happiness you're able to attract more love more gratitude a guaranteed job a guaranteed future guaranteed money you're able to attract the yes in your life you're able to attract the things that you soul desire soul desire whatever your soul desires that's what you're attracting into your life so it's really good what my favorite technique is positive affirmation scripting sometimes can be a bit of a pain because you have to literally sit there and write out your thoughts and sometimes your thoughts can be very jumpy sometimes your thoughts can be very long and drawn out and you don't want to sit there and be writing for hours 
but what I can say is when you're scripting you really fall in love with the words that you're writing okay because you're spelling out remember how we talked about spells and how they work in your favor depending on how you use them whether you're using them for a positive form or you're using them for dark magic you're spelling out the things that you would like to see so when you when you put a spell on yourself good or bad that's what you attract when you write it out in written form or when you script it out in your journal so um, scripting is a useful tool because it's more likely for you to see it for you to repeat um, yourself by to repeat your um, words or your affirmations by going back to it so if it's written down and you see it every day um, like I said, some people work in the opposite form. Some people have to see it to believe it. Other people have to believe it to see it. Um, so when you're writing it down, you're seeing it every single day. And it's just like a vision board. When you're looking at it, you're glancing at it. Subconsciously, you're working your mind to form in the way that you desire. Subconsciously, you're forming your greatest gratitude for the things that you deserve. Right? So those things attract to you, those things come to you in abundance, those things come to you in great matter. So when you're um, visualizing or in, in using your imagination, be very detailed, be very descriptive about what you love, what you desire, what you want to attract in your life. Another instance is fire breathing. Fire breathing is basically breathing in deeply, breathing out deeply in a fast, pace motion that will get your blood flowing that will get your mind producing um thoughts that you never thought you had but in kind of like in the back of your mind those thoughts come to the forefront when your blood starts to flow so you're able to breathe at a faster rate but you're able to like manifest at the same time it's almost like um having an orgasm and forgive me if this if you're watching this and you're not, you know, you know, you know whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's just like having an orgasm when you're fire breathing. You're breathing and when you have orgasm or you have an orgasmic experience, you're reproducing. Usually when you, you know, have intercourse, you're reproducing a baby. But you can also reproduce an idea. You can reproduce a business you can reproduce a concept you can uh, visualize the things that you want and call them into action right so a lot of things can happen when you're manifest when you're manifesting the, your deepest desires and it's all about paying attention to what it is that you want and calling it into action calling it into what you deserve calling it into what it is for you and being very specific about what you want because if you just say I want a man well you gonna get any man that comes or roams the street or maybe knocks on your door but if you're saying man i want a gentleman i want a tall i want a dark skin i want somebody who's stable financially emotionally mentally physically i want somebody who can you know take me on trips i want somebody who can you know speak speak uh call things before i even say before I even say it, I want somebody who can finish my sentence. I want somebody who takes me out to dinner, wines and dines me, treats me like the goddess, the woman I am. I mean, you, the, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want to call to action, call it in a specific form. The more detailed you are with your prayer, with your manifestation, your meditating, the more likely you're able to receive it in that exact form. So that's my video on manifesting, visualizing, being a dreamer, attracting, being, having that law of attraction and using it to your best ability. There's so many uh, videos, so many books on law of attraction. I encourage you to read them. I encourage you to watch those videos because it's very helpful when you're a beginner or when you're just someone who doesn't know where to start or you can't sit in one place or you can't write down your thoughts or your thoughts are all over the place. You know, just having those calming techniques whether you know you have to drink tea before you script or you have to go for a walk or you have to go shopping to relieve some stress or you have to talk about it to um to someone in order to believe that it's happening you know whatever it is that you have to do make it 
yours and make it your own make it to where it's calming for you have that coping mechanism when you're ma manifesting so that your thoughts are more readily and um, more calming to the mind because you no one wants to manifest on a <laughs> chaotic mind because then you reproduce cha um, chaotic and toxicness in your life so it's it's all in the mind it's all in how you speak it's all in how you attract how you visualize um so I hope this video helped. If it did, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And thanks thanks so much, guys, for tuning in and watching another video of mine. I really appreciate you stopping by, and I will see you in my next one.